And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 Remastered, and we're going to actually do the end game now! Oh boy, it's about time, right? So, I, I've been over the last couple days here, going around and doing the little blue NPC quest. The only thing I noticed that's new is the gates keep popping up, but other than that, the like, NCPD quests that you see here, like little side quests, there's nothing really new in those. It's just the same shit we've already done. Uh, the gigs like this popping up, it's just the same shit. It just j it pops up more than one time. You're just replaying the same gig over and over again. It's like, really? So the only changes I've seen so far are in the main storyline. Uh, that's just the same quest that I usually do. Usually I like, towards the end game, I like to clear everything so there's nothing left to do. Therefore, I have to make a new save. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyways. So, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do end game. We're gonna go meet Hanaka Embers, at uh, Embers here. And then afterwards, we're gonna go buy all these little apartments and check all the apartments out. And then I'll go do Dogtown, and that will be the end of the Cyberpunk 2077 Remastered series. It's, uh, you know, slowly working on this, on top of playing Planet Crafter, on top of playing, now I've added another series known as Days Gone. <laughs> on top of me doing virtual map work, where I'm upgrading to the new version of Unity for my VRChat Worlds, on top of running a virtual dance club, you know, it's a lot to do. To, take into consideration, you know, a little bit over here, a little bit over there, doing a little bit of this, doing a little bit of that. <laughs> Been busy, busy. But anyways, let's get into playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 and doing the end quest here. So, first things first, let's go ahead and make a save. We're gonna save twice. Why? Well, this way, when we go through here, sometimes this likes to glitch out. And then once we click that door, it's going to say, oh, you can't return to the previous save, but it's still going to spit you back out to your last save from when you entered there. So you're not going to get really any experience when you go to do endgame. You're literally just playing it for story mode at this point. So anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page here. And let's get into playing some more Cyberpunk 2077. this at all this porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news can you chill for two sacks we go in we talk we leave that's it hanako sama ga omachi da Did the place? Shit. Excellent. You have come. Let's step to it then. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. You weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobud killed your father. No? I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate. Inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it? Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. 
Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh. Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different? Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm-hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard, it'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout, when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yurinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Of course I didn't bring Soul Killer. Afraid we don't know each other that well. You prefer to keep your guard up. Understandable, but unnecessary. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning, Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Want to leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is going to be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. Sure know how to prick up my ears. Go on. Talk. My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama, soro-soro go-jitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. And I will need to return to the estate soon, so as not to raise any suspicions. Offers intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? Yeah, it's just... Uh... You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Ah, Make I'll your think decision. Think it over. You could use some air. Right now.
hours from it now, Pete. You can't stand on your own two feet. Well, I'm good to go. Body listens to me. See what I'm getting at? Of course I can see. Want me to hand over the keys? I want to save your life. Pop some pseudo-endotrizine. Scooch and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Mikoshi. Uh-huh. How oh, exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she just stuck her neck out for you a half a century ago. But now... I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen up, V. Those guys are trailer tuggers. An assault on Arasaka is just not another convoy to Jack. You already tried this with amateurs. Both know how that ended. And you... tried it with pros. Didn't end any fucking better. You don't want those people involved. Their lives on the line. Possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Rogue? I don't know. You honestly think it could work? With her experience, her resources, her connections. Won't find anyone better in NC. Johnny. It's gotta work. We breach the tower. Alt cracks open Makoshi. Then I fuck up that. Great, you checking out again? Just yet. Vic. You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here. Beat to hell and back. You missed the hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Talamant was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. Come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up carefully. I'll try. Think I'm getting some feeling back. <sighs> so slowly. Another victory for the history books. Hmm. Well, looks like I can sit up, all right. But I can tell you don't have good news. How much longer is this going to go on? 
You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? I know, Vic. I'll try. Soon. No. You'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah? What about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotris in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Give it a fucking rest, Johnny. It's my decision. And I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, Just not in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Uh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Hey, V, I heard... Well... Your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy... ...for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. Let me guess. My aura's sputtering? Mm-hmm. Afraid so. Sure. Lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What? What's he gotta do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but. He found the courage to bet on himself. brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. my thoughts. You're on unachievable these days. So what? What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And 
I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Well, there is this one stubborn badge. Mm-hmm. Hey, V. Hey. I wake you. Shipping containers again? Uh, worse. What could be worse than that? Uh, pursuing somebody else's botched case. The feeling you are that fuck up. Uh, don't know. Hard to explain. Question is, what are you doing up? Might have had a bad dream too. Kind of like yours. How so? Also lived a double life. Mm. As an overweight detective, his moral backbone made of hot dog buns. Uh, try dead rocker boy with a bloated ego. Ooh, sounds nasty. Yep. Trade places with me. Listen, seeing as you're not asleep either, what do you say to little nightcap? Can't. Not today. And probably not anytime soon. Everything all right? Yeah, just got something on my mind. You know, might not have been the best cop in Night City, but I can tell when someone's... Talking out their ass? Not speaking the whole truth. Find yourself in some trouble. Fierce variety. Might have been the trouble that found me. That might just be what I like most about you. Hey, I gotta go. Wait, wait. Whatever it is, you can count on me, okay? I know. Thanks, River. Hang in there. <sighs> okay. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. <laughs> then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. It's worth taking a chance on our soccer. The fuck was that? God, how are you so fucking stubborn? Inherited your finest traits. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Honestly, couldn't give a gnat shit. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. Just wanna be there for it. Aware. Inside Makoshi. Johnny? 
Okay. Just me now. P? Hey, Pan Am. Do you know what time it is? I know. But... Need your help. You owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent I couldn't wait until morning? Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny. I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds... A prison of souls. A prison of souls? <sighs> Knew this might not fly over the hollow. Wakoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. W okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Well, that was different. They don't usually give you the option to choose who is going to come with you into Arasaka Tower. And they usually don't give you the option where you take control and not Johnny. So that was different. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Oh, okay, definitely Johnny. He has one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. 
Though it can also mean difficult choices ahead. Ain't that the truth? Okay, and Johnny's? The moon. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hmm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. Hi. Man, it's good to see your face. Jesus, you really do look terrible. And I feel worse. Then we had best not waste any time. We have a long road ahead of us. Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. <laughs> Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? What happened? You passed out on the way. We tried shaking you awake. To no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help. That's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on. I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one, neither. The whole That's clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why. What our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? You did some sleep, is all. I heard you were already cooking up a plan. We still have details to iron out. But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out. But only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps cirques. We would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? V, can you share your thoughts? Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked, Militech out in full force. It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Mm-hmm. What's a CERC? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower. Then go on to Mikoshi. Sounds doable, in theory, to me. No competing ideas? Then let's get to prepping. We'll need bucket loads more information. It's the only way to determine if this plan holds It'll water. It'll be full of holes no matter what we turn up, Saul. I can tell you that already. But what's the alternative? To call off the assault? To let her uh, die? Pan Am is right. We have to accept these risks come what may. That much we owe you. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just, no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? I need 
need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Makoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She... It's... an AI from out past the black Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. That America's long gone. Fellas? We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. It's more like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner, standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So nitrous oxide injection into military hardware? I heard Ruffins do the same thing with their armored pickups before going after convoys. Except it isn't exactly stable. You'd think you plain couldn't jazz up a panzer that way, huh? When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Let's get back to the matter at hand, shall we? Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take her for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Firepower up top. Uh, what is it? A rapid-fire 70-millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sink to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Hey, Dakota. Shamai, sister of the backers. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay. Get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. For nobody knew I was there. You tech up to it? Up to it, she asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. I spilled tub. Carol. Here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? <gasps> all right, time to move. Follow the vector, sister. Hello, Alt. You come alone. Johnny is currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. 
when they get this straight. Mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny? And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because for a second you were displeased and I seemed to side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. You say nothing. Why? Think what you will, but it seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. What should I expect then? Mikoshi. A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. I'll make it through. While Mikoshi will not. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free. They will be integrated with me. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. Should I look for a specific access point? Can already tell you Ice all the way to Tokyo will be backing every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got her back. <sighs> Carol, the shard! Relax, child. Barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? PG. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. I'm on my way. Well, this is definitely interesting. This is definitely different. I don't know if this was part of the original storyline or not, that you could make, choose to go with Rogue or Pam. But I've never gone down the Pam route if that was an actual thing, so this is definitely different. Anyways, this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.